In this video I'm going to explain how you can read a radar chart and these may initially look completely confusing but they're actually very simple. So here's a very simplified radar chart. We're going to figure out how this works and if we put a table underneath this it makes far more sense. So essentially what we've done here is we've plotted four different sets of data and we've given each set of data its own axes. So if we look at this here, axis 1 has a value 1, so we come along axis 1 and we've got a dot at 1. Axis 2, we've got a dot at number 3. Axis 3, we've got a dot at number 2. And axis 4, we've got a dot at number 4. So essentially that's what a radar diagram is doing. It's simply plotting these numbers on a graph but assigning one axis to each thing. So these could be revenues or profits and each different thing gets its own axis and a radar diagram simply joins these up as such. You see these intersections here are the points exactly like in this one. For example, axis 4 is 4 so if we come to on here we've got axis 4 and we've got the point 4 here. These aren't terribly great diagrams, but occasionally they can be used as a quite clever way of illustrating something. So here's an example of a potential radar chart. This is a comparison of Intel to ARM Holdings. And you can immediately see by a quick glance at this chart that Intel is vastly bigger than ARM Holdings. ARM is this tiny little dot in the middle, whereas Intel is this huge bit and you plot like on this axis, you can see I've plotted the total assets. So the total assets of Intel are here, total assets of ARM are here. So this gives interesting comparisons, but in general, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the radar chart. But as an illustration tool, occasionally they can be quite a clever way of displaying something, and you can instantly make the comparison with this chart. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and now you know how to read our radar chart. They're actually very simple and thank you very much for watching.